Look at how cool these look. I'm having fun here. Guys, we're here at Desert Tech. They make some of the coolest bolt guns and some very interesting carvings. I'm here with Lance. Hi, right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us in the booth today. Go ahead and introduce yourself, introduce Desert Tech for the people, and let's start breaking into some of this gear. For sure. So my name's Lance. I'm the product manager over at Desert Tech, and I want to go ahead and show you guys the uh, SRS M2. This is our third, third or sixth generation, depending on where you look at the uh, model numbers on it. <laughs> here we have a 26-inch recessed bullpup uh, carbon fiber fiber barrel SRS M2 model and it's a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor and this has all the same func or functionality as our A2 models where you can loosen your uh, barrel retention clamps right there and then if you have a pin on this side of the rifle you can rotate it 180 degrees and if you want to turn this into a magnum caliber rifle you can just pop your barrel straight out the front throw a 338 Lapool barrel straight in the front and you're off to the races shooting magnum calibers. We just released 6.5 PRC for this and 30 out six barrels as well. That's cool. So uh, I'll let you get your hands on that there. It's light, dude. Yeah, it is. I mean, for what you're getting in such a larger gun, I mean, when you're looking at some competitive products, this is like around half the weight, give or take. Yes. How indeed. much do these things weigh? So give or take. These are about uh, about seven and a half to about eight pounds. It's not bad. That's like as much as like my competition AR, give or take. Oh yeah. Uh, and you can have a Magnum sniper rifle, basically. Reach out to distance. I went. I recently went down a Desert Tech rabbit hole. Oh yeah. Uh, so I was watching some insanely long range shots with these guns. Oh, it's insane what you can do with these as well. So I mean, they're like, all accurized right out of the chassis as well. Once you get the barrels in, you can remove your barrel and put your barrel back in, and it will return to zero, no issue. That's awesome. Um, I like the uh, the Arca that's built in. Um, I like that you guys have a bunch of different colors. You got FDE, yep. gray, black. Because remember, you only shoot as good as you look. Exactly. True, so you got true. a matchy matchy, and it looks good. Um, what are all the calibers offered in this system? Oh man, there's a lot to list. Uh, oh. 308, 65 Creedmoor, 300 Win Mag, 300 Remington Ultra Mag, 300 Norma Magnum, 338 Lapua, 30-06, and then 65 PRC. I think I already mentioned that one earlier. Yes. I probably missed a few, but there we it's go. It's all right. But these are super versatile guns, so you can shoot a wide variety of calibers with just a simple yeah. barrel swap. Now, when I shot the PCSL two gun championship uh, at the end of last year, I actually pulled a certificate oh, from yeah. Desert Tech off the prize table for the Quattro 15. So I think we're gonna hop over there. We're gonna give them a teaser because we're doing a full review. We might even post sample it. Ooh, okay, hell yeah. Um, but let's go over to the Quattro and see what you guys are doing with your carbines. Hell yeah, here, you get that from me as well. This is our 16 inch 308 model here with a suppressor attached on the front. Let me take that off so you can see how short this thing really, really gets. Does this come uh, in Magnum calibers as well? Yes. So you can put an 18 inch 338 Lapua magazine on there as well if you want. Oh my gosh. I bet that kicks quite a bit. Not at all. Really? It is incredibly light. This feels fun. This doesn't feel like a real no. <laughs> long range application. You gun. wouldn't think about it as well. Imagine throwing that in like a, a deer pack or something like that as well yeah. with all your kit. So uh, another spoiler in September, I'm going on a moose hunt in Alaska. It's all horseback. Ooh. And so like, I am I have this just like picture in my head of me like on the mountainous Alaska landscape with this thing just like slung yeah, across man. my back on a horse. <laughs> Just because uh, everyone has their normal hunting guns, the lightweight bolt guns, you know, whatever it is. Yep. But I want something cool because I think you'd be making the right choice then. But I'm heavily biased, so. Yeah. <laughs> what What is the model on this one? This is the this is an SRS A2 Covert. Covert. Okay. And all that means is basically it's the shorter package, right? Yep. A little so you bit get, you less. Get the shorter forend on the front of it, and okay. it's meant for a 16-inch barrel, or you can adapt it to your 18-inch and a 16-inch barrel or 26-inch barrel will work okay. on this as well. Cool. I think the 18338 would be a cool. Yeah, I actually cool have the 18338 system. model right over here on the other side. Normal mag, chunker. 53 rounds in a single magazine on a normal AR platform. Yep, so this is the Quattro 15 lower receiver here. So in-house at Desert Tech right now, we started manufacturing just the stripped lower receiver and all these magazines. These are getting QC'd at the factory, but the full reliability, they're all QC checked, the feed lips and the springs all get tested beforehand. And then when we, get, we come out the door, we're trying to market this towards the competition market and or the light automatic rifle market. So if you're familiar with like the M27 IAR as well, these things on full auto are a lot of fun to shoot. I bet. And so we have one of these at the FFL right now. Um, I've got a, a pretty cool upper for it as well. It's an okay. old school Colt quad rail. Oh yeah, um, that's the perfect choice right there. Just uh, just for the aesthetics, but we were just talking about this with the Terran Pro team about how this is a cool application to have more rounds, 
in a nice compact package where uh, you're not overcumbered by a drum and you still have uh, like a nice base to build your gun when you're positioning on on the ground like going prone without a bipod or something yep, like that so by comparison to a magpul pmag as well it is actually a little bit shorter not by a whole lot so if you're trying to get low to the ground or like set it up on a bipod as well you it does allow you to depress the gun lower to the ground which is wonderful and all of the quattro magazines have an adapter so if you want to run regular stanag or pmag magazines it fits right in there as well it's just two pieces that you clip right into the mag well wow so you still can use all your normal magazines. You don't have to use the big 53 round chunky boys. It's a very cool design because it just, this essentially you could use like an elastic AR pouch and this would fit it. Yeah, so uh, double stack magazine pouches. I like, if you're familiar with like the Onward Research Recce Rig or anything that it just has double magazine pouches as well, it fits in there, no issue. Got it, so if you had, if you had four double pouches on your chest. You could essentially carry over 200 rounds in exactly. four mags. Yeah, so in four mags, you're at 212 rounds capacity yeah. with three less magazines if you wanted to get 210 rounds with seven mags. So you wow. have a massive potential there. And while you're running on stages as well, you don't have to reload. You got 53 rounds on deck. Yeah, or if you do need to reload, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is cool. It's, it's nice and evenly balanced too. And I, I would imagine with this, weight just hanging down from the receiver that it'd be balanced when you're transitioning and swinging yep, around. Absolutely. All inside here, it's just standard mil specs. So okay. if you wanted to go Normal run, triggers, normal safeties, yeah. normal grips. Yeah, normal safeties, normal triggers, regular grips, anything that you want to run on here as well. And if you wanted to as well, you can always run a couple fun stuff as well, which yep. we have in this model right here. That one actually has the fun switch and that, uh, that little pin there. Oh, we like being fun. <laughs> Do these come low shelf already? Unfortunately not, no. Ooh, so we'll have to do a little bit of milling, but that's okay. Everybody's a gunsmith if they own a drill press. Factual. Factual. Um, abolish the ATF. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's move over to the newest carbine that you guys released yep. for this SHOT Show in 2024, the Wolverine, which is a Bullpup 5.56. So this Harvard. is our semi-automatic bullpup short stroke gas piston rifle. This is the Gen 3 version of the MDR. Okay. And the cool part about the chassis here is it is a platform. And what you can do here on each of these rifles here is if you wanted to, you can same just with the SRSs that we showed before, loosen these three screws, rotate this 180 degrees, switch from 5.56 to 308, all with the same receiver. Whoa. So I'll let you get your hands on this 308 well. and 5.56, same gun. Yeah, let me get your hands on that there as well. And. Essentially, the, the bigger <laughs> updates with the Wolverine rifle is that all of the steel parts have been removed where it, it mattered. If this, um, as I'm stuttering over my words, the MDR used a lot of steel parts to maintain the higher sure. bolt velocity and the forward eject systems. That's your bolt catch. That so bolt you, catch. You oh, release, oh okay. and you have an AR-15 style magazine paddle right there. Oh well, my you gosh! Can that and release okay. Well. Um, it helps if someone tells you about it first rather than just being a monkey brain and start <laughs> pressing buttons on stuff. Um, that's pretty cool because at first I thought it was a slap down on the handle, but back here. So yeah, you, so it's on an empty magazine right now. So you can smack your uh, charging handle down and it's going to half release it or it'll go all the way now. It'll go, it okay, magazine's out and now we'll rack the bolt. Yep. So oh, down and down. Back. Okay. There you go. And if you insert on an empty mag, now your bolt catch isn't deployed. All you got to do is smack your magazine out of the way and okay. Let's say you actually had rounds in that magazine there. You just smack your bolt catch and you're good to Got go. It. And down, back, up. Cool. So as you're running this here, this is our 308 version of the rifle as well. We got an AR-10 mag here. If you wanted to, on an empty magazine, let's just say you already locked back and you shot through all your ammo as well. To get a quick reload, having your bolt catch provided in an ergonomic position here, you can go ahead and just run the magazine up the back and your thumbs right into position to drop the bolt. And then here, this is a 16 inch 308. So yeah, that, super that compact. Is a battle rifle in a super compact package. This this is a hog slayer is what it is. Yes, it is. Put a can, put a thermal on this thing. This is what I want to be taking out there. Um, the ergos and everything that you guys put on here is very tasteful and thoughtful because Thank you. I've shot a handful of bull pups and each one of them have little corks that I just annoy me. Yeah, there's always something about something, them. but um, safety is easy to operate trigger. Obviously, I like that you guys have a magazine release up front here yep. so you well, can get it out. If you're familiar with the European style as well, you do have a heel release here. You can yep. press this button and drop your magazine. Got out. it. Yeah, if you're weird and foreign. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh yeah. 
This thing is sweet. I and what's, to, what's I MSRP need, on these? So the 308 start at 27 and the 506 okay. start at 25. I definitely cool. need you to try that trigger a lot more as well. It'll surprise you. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. All right, you ready? <laughs> solid, solid break yep. on so it. So it's about nice a four pound, feels like a mil spec trigger with a little yep. bit of a rolling break on it as well. Yep. It's great. And like, this is what I want. I want a gun that's ready to shoot, ready to play, out of the box, ready to go. So one thing that I want to stress as well is the weight savings we were able to achieve by removing all the steel parts in the receiver. Let me go okay. and grab the 20 inch 308 version here I have on the other okay. side. This thing is sick. I want this. All right. Whoa, whoa. So this is our 20, or 20 inch 308 version here. This is coming with a black label Mantis handguard. They're not gonna be shipping directly with them. They're an upgrade that, you're, or that are available on our website. And inside the handguard, you have a deployable bipod and with the 20 inch 308 version and an Elkin and a suppressor on the end. I just want you to feel the weight on this. Oh my gosh. It's 7.7 .7 pounds. What? <laughs> One finger on a 20 inch 308. This is so cool. Especially with a bipod integrated into the uh, into that foreign. That's super slick. Oh yeah, so just press in on the buttons here on the side okay. and it'll drop right in. Again, listen to the man before you just start pressing on things with your monkey brain. <laughs> is this also 2700? Is this more with the yeah, longer so barrel? The 308 start at the 27 price. Okay. And then what are we looking at for the add-on for that integrated bipod? So the one with the integrated handguard, or bipod or, handguard, man, I'm, I'm, I've been speaking a lot today. It, yeah, it's SHOT Show. This is what happens. We're on multiple <laughs> days of this you can already hear, I've already lost half my voice. Um, these start at about 550, so it's a little pricey, but you do get full adjustment in this as well, and they are manufactured with carbon fiber to keep down on the weight as well. Cool. And uh, if you want to get even spicier with Is the Is this an adjustable gas system as well? It, yes, indeed. So you have six positions to adjust the gas as well. So if you are running flow through cans, high back pressure cans, whatever you want to run on this, it will work. We guarantee it. Very cool. You guys thought everything on this. We, we did a lot of R&D as well. I talked with our uh, design engineer as well. And going from the MDR platform over to the Wolverine, he said there was over like 690 design changes in the rifle wow. from the previous generation to this one here yeah. as well. So while it's very, very similar in manual of arms and controls and looks, it is a whole different rifle underneath the hood. Yeah. So if you guys remember uh, Chief Air Carlo from the movement video, he actually has an MDR uh, and he's used it in the black rifle matches in Phoenix. Oh, so yeah. it's a local carbine match, uh, but we were stretching these guns out to like 500, 550 in the 556 configuration. And I don't know what was in Eric that day, or maybe it was the gun. Um, and you know, we're, he's going up against professional shoes, but he ended up finishing top 10 at the match. That's um, amazing. Wow. And he was just smacking the steel, minimal makeup shots. And we were, I mean, we were just blown away with just the accuracy coming out of it. Whether like, you know, he was having a really good day or is, or is the gun, you know? Um, it could be a mixture of both. Whatever it is, but it's it's just a cool platform. It's evenly balanced. It's compact. Um, I mean, with a can and everything like that, it's still very incredibly wieldable. Yeah. One of the other things I'd love to stress out as well is when we were just talking about the SRS platform as well, same system here where you're clamping your barrel in and you can remove it, change your calibers, 556, 308. This extra screw that we added in here on the back as well in improves the uh, stiffness and rigidity of the barrel, which ended up actually increasing the accuracy by about 30%. So the gun went from about one and three quarter MOA to about one and a quarter MOA. Sweet. So for a set- uh, Probably stroke, better than most of us can shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shoot that, but- uh, for a short stroke gas piston rifle, one and a quarter MOA when you're running, you know, a DMR setup, or even you can throw a six five Creedmoor yeah. barrel in this as well, and you, you're you're going to be cool. hitting whatever you're shooting at for sure. Absolutely. Look at this little dude. This is the Micron Wolverine, eleven five inch bullpup. Uh, and this little compact package is like no bigger than a P90. Yep, so this is a, just about the exact same size as a P90, and you're shooting 5.56 five, out of an 11 and a half inch barrel. This, uh, from the factory, you can go ahead and buy the chassis, and if you wanted to get the Micron conversion kits for the 11 and a half inch barrels, it comes with your handguard, your 11 and a half inch barrel. And just like the 308 models as well, you don't have to change your receiver. Just pop your barrel out and put this one in, and then you're running an SBR. So in the future, we're ex planning on expanding the caliber selection for this as well. Right now, it's currently available in 5.56, and uh, you can have a whole lot of firepower and a super tip for tiny package here.
Yep. So I see there's like an insert on this magwell. So when you say caliber conversions, you're talking about larger ones, like maybe 308. Yes. Or light calibers in that area or realm. Yep. So it's actually probably easier to see on the FDE model. There is a magazine insert on the inside here that you can swap it between AR10 and regular Stanag P mags if you're running like 556 or intermediate cartridges. So in the future, you should be able to get 308s and uh, a couple other calibers that we can't announce just yet. Uh, this is fun. Can I see that one as well? Yeah, absolutely. There you are. I'm having fun here. I like these guns. Look at how cool these look. So with the lower receiver, like if you were to get the standard Wolverine, you could just buy one of these Correct, Micron yeah. uppers. Yeah, so you don't. Have, so it's not an upper receiver. All you would have to do is okay. just get a new barrel from our, our factory or our, our website right now on Desert Tech. The 11 and a half inch barrel drops right into whatever chassis of the Wolverine that you bought. Cool, and then just a uh, new handguard and you're yeah. good to go. Yeah, and the handguard comes typically with those conversion kits or yep. you can buy the 11 and a half inch barrel on your own. And if you wanted to, the standard handguards can actually recess a suppressor underneath it. Pretty cool. Desert Tech's doing cool stuff. This is about the right size. What do you think? This is their ultra long range uh, weapon platform here. This is a big beefy boy, but still coming in lighter than some of the competitors on the market. Um, this is a shy tech round. Is that three? Yeah. So this is a 375 Shay tech right now, and it's uh, the original host chassis. This is the RHTI rifle. It's actually meant to be a 50 BMG, but it's an accurized 50 BMG, and we were able to actually downscale it into other longer range cartridges such as 408, 416 Barrett, and 375 Shay tech. This is uh, what you would consider not so much as an anti-material rifle, but like just a rifle that carries a huge payload at a really, really long distance. That's cool. Like so, thousands of yards. Thousands Multiple of, yards. of thousands of yards. Yeah. Um, I guess has the, anybody done a Call of Duty 360 no scope on steel with this yet? I think you need to. If you were to compare this to like, uh, I guess the equivalent rifle would be like the Barrett M99. This is a way more lightweight option. It was still bolt action, bolt up receiver. And uh, if you wanted to, just like our SRS models of rifles as well, all of your screws are on the same size here, or same, same side here. They're all torqued to the same spec. Whenever you buy one, you get the tool to do it. All you gotta do is loosen these four screws and rotate this pin 180 degrees. Your barrel pops straight out the front and you can switch whatever caliber you wanna shoot with. Let's, uh, let's see what this 360 looks like, okay? <laughs> oh. All right, I think I gotta work on it a little bit to clear this back buttstock, but we'll get it down. I promise you that. <laughs> With the uh, 50 BMG cartridges as well, uh, at Desert Tech, we are manufacturing the ammo ourselves as well. So if you need accurized 50 BMG ammo, like a 0.5 MOA out of this rifle with these barrels that we're manufacturing for. At 20 yards? At 100 yards. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Cause that's the thing too, not all 50 cal is treated the same. So um, if you're just, taking it off a link or taking it out of an ammo can, there's a lot of discrepancies yep. that comes from that mass produced ammo. So um, that's cool to see some precision around so you can really see the true capability of something that large and that powerful. Yep, absolutely. And if you're familiar with more of like the anti-material rifle role, just think about a uh, accurized anti-material rifle where it's actually a sniper rifle. <laughs> yeah, you could snipe a Prius C off the road. Yeah, we do not like Prius Cs here at Desert Tech. You can also get a quick pump from it too. How much does this thing weigh? Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. Um, uh, do I have it written down somewhere? No. I don't know. <laughs> it weighs enough to get a quick arm pump though at SHOT Show. So if you're uh, in a gun shop, you see one, you need a quick pump for the ladies, or maybe a dude, I don't know what your flavor is. Uh, you can grab one of these guns and just <laughs> pump it up a little bit and pump your distance. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's the HDI rifle. If you guys want to know any more information as well, they're all available right now on Desert Tech. Desert Tech is making cool, innovative things and, uh, and you guys should check them out if you're not familiar with them. Follow them on social media, check out their website, sign up for their newsletter because they'll release a lot of cool updates on that uh, and look forward to more content with the Quattro and other platforms from them. Uh, Lance. Of course, it was great getting to meet you. Absolutely, you. you too, it's been a pleasure. Go shoot matches, go comment on the video, go subscribe, buy a Constantine carry belt, do all this stuff. But most importantly, have fun and go shoot, be safe. Uh, we love you guys, goodbye.